Hi, my fellow Chef Knight enthusiasts. In this video, oh, God damn it. In this video, I'm going to show you a Sakai Takayuki Ginryu Honyaki Kengata Yanagiba 300 millimeters. This beautiful knife, unfortunately, is not mine. This beautiful knife is from someone that will remain nameless because his wife might find out. Obviously, after shooting this video, I will send this knife to the rightful and lucky owner. Sakai Takeyuki is the largest maker in Sakai. Sakai Takeyuki knives both open the door to traditional Japanese knives and a door to European style knives, especially for the Western market. Sakai Takeyuki became the biggest knife maker in Sakai by cooperating with different knife smiths, handle makers, and sharpeners to craft their knives. These makers could be anonymous makers in the Japanese knife industry or highly regarded masters. That's the reason behind the huge gap in prices among Sakai Takayuki knives. You could find a Takayuki knife between the $100 and $150 price range. Or you could find a Sakai Takayuki knife in the $4,000 price range. For the Japanese traditional knives, Sakai Takayuki has some of Japan's best master blacksmiths, including Itsu Odoi and Kenji Togashi. Master sharpener Yamatsuke-san, with his steady hand on the Kaiten Toshi, which is the Japanese water stone machine, guarantees a superior finish of absolute sharpness and sharpness retention. Sakai Takayuki Ginryu Honyaki Kengata Yanagiba. All these Japanese words and terms, uh, even just in the title of a knife, can be a little bit dazzling if you don't know what they actually stand for. Let me break these words down for you a little bit. So, Ginryu means silver dragon in Japanese. Kengata refers to the shape of the knife. Kengata translates as sword like. Yanagiba or Yanagiba or Yanagiba Bocho literally means willow blade knife. It is the typical example of the sashimi bocho, sashimi meaning raw fish, bocho meaning knife, used to prepare sashimi and nigiri sushi. When preparing sashimi and nigiri sushi, the goal is usually to have cut surfaces that are even, smooth and shiny in order to maximize the taste. The construction of a Yanagiba is especially designed for that purpose. Honyaki is the forging method of the steel. Honyaki, the kitchen katana, is the name for the Japanese traditional method of forging a blade most similar to the tradition of Nihonto, Japanese sword or katana. Honyaki knives are forged of one piece of material, which is generally a top grade knife specific steel. The goal is to produce a sharper, longer lasting edge than is usually achievable with the lamination method of steel. Okay, let's see what's in the box. What do we have here? I think this is a certificate of authenticity. It's all in Japanese, so I wouldn't know what it says. Yushikuro Ishime Saya cover comes with the knife. Yeah, a knife of this caliber and a knife with this price tag probably should come with a Saya, which is specifically made for the knife, because definitely a universal Saya would not fit on blades like this. The handle material, ebony wood with cultured marble ring at both ends. I love that white bottom and top of the handle and then those nickel or silver spacers and then this dark ebony wood. Right from the start, I'm loving the shape of this knife, this Kengata shape knife. The polish on this knife is really well done. I'm trying to find the right angles to not let the knife make a copy of my ugly face, but 
believe me, this blade is a mirror. Kinryu is the top of Sakai Takayuki stainless steel models that is made entirely with Swedish steel and each knife is finished by a master sharpener in the traditional Japanese style. So let there be no mistake. This blade is a premium sashimi knife. It's made from the highest quality Udoholm Swedish steel manufactured at the Santvik steel factory. The use of this steel is popular with Japanese knife smiths due to their predictable behavior during forging and the fine structure of the steel after the hardening process. Thanks to this structure, the steel excels in extreme sharpness and sharpness retention. Misono uses this steel in their carbon series, where it is called European steel, which is rusting steel. Sakai Takayuki uses the Udohon, Swedish steel, meaning it's the stainless steel version. This steel is also called Honyaki, Swedish steel. This special stainless steel alloy has very low impurities with good rust resistance and offers exceptional sharpness, which is hardened to about 61-62 HRC. The addition of chromium and vanadium enhance edge holding capability, while cobalt and molybdenum help to retain high hardness. The blade is made through Hunyaki process, so the edge gets very hard and retains its sharpness for a long time. Hanyaki knives cannot be mass-produced and therefore are more expensive compared to other types of knives. They are primarily for professional chefs and are the highest quality of Japanese traditional knives. No need to look any further for better knives. After Hanyaki knives, you're done. So this Gin Ryu Hanyaki by Sakai Takeyuki has this Kengata shape and it comes with a Saya. The blade material is Swedish stainless steel. The blade length is 300 millimeters. Blade style is a single bevel. Yep, this is a single bevel knife, all right. Handle is made from ebony and Korean. The shape is a slim blade, which looks like a katana, suitable for slicing tasks. It is possible to cut beautiful sashimi just by pulling in a single motion without moving the kitchen knife back and forth. While Eastern Japan, the Tokyo region, uses the name Yanagiba for this style of knife, to the west in the Osaka and Kyoto regions, these knives are known as the Shobu. Somehow my cat always managed not to cut himself. I put this knife next to my Takeshi Saji Yanagiba that I have, which is also made of Swedish steel. Just to show you two knives made with the same steel but with a different finish. So, at the end of the day, I kind of like this knife, even though it's not mine. Maybe because it is not mine. Definitely a Honyaki knife, which is kind of in the lower price range when it comes to Honyakis. Let's say a thousand dollars is probably the lowest price you would find on a Honyaki knife because of the process of making a Honyaki. But yeah, given that price, you really get a beautiful knife in the hardest steel and the purest steel, beautiful fit and finish. It will definitely look good in the office. I for one, if I will ever uh, purchase a Honyaki knife, which perhaps might happen one day. I mean, I'm not a sushi master. Uh, I don't prepare sashimi very often, I mean maybe once or twice a month. I definitely don't need a Honyaki Yanagiba. But as a knife collector and a chef knife enthusiast, yeah, I would definitely love to have a Honyaki just so that I have one. But then I would definitely go for, I would probably wanna go for a Mount Fuji 
Konyaki knife with that beautiful Hamon Mount Fuji shape and maybe the moon or half a moon right besides it. You know what I'm talking about. Right there. Just that damn beautiful Hamon, beautiful squiggly, curvy, wavy 